Hi, it's Katrina. From blonde zebras to toads exploding all over the place, here are 10 strange things found in nature. Number 10. The Double Tree of Grana Found in Grana and Casorzo in Piemonte, Italy is an extremely rare type of tree. It's a mulberry tree with a cherry tree growing on top of it, and both are in perfect health. It's what's known as an epiphytic tree, which means there's one growing on the surface of another. They aren't particularly uncommon, but usually they only grow to a small size, and only grow as large as this in exceptional circumstances. Their growth is limited by the amount of space and nutrients available to both trees, but in this case, the upper tree has managed to form a root connection with the ground that allows it to extract everything it needs. It's not entirely clear how this happened, but it's possible that a bird or another animal dropped a cherry pit on top of the mulberry tree, and it managed to grow roots through the hollow trunk of the host. Number 9. Dirty Thunderstorms Thunderstorms can be some of the most powerful displays of nature on the planet, but there's one type that forms in a completely different way that's very rare and far more ominous. Usually, lightning is formed when ice crystals in a storm collide against each other and generate an electrical charge, which is released. Dirty thunderstorms happen during volcanic eruptions, where instead of ice crystals colliding, the electricity is generated by colliding ash particles. The first known record of the phenomenon was by Pliny the Younger when he writes about the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD, but it doesn't happen in every eruption. In recent years, it's been seen around the Icelandic volcano Eljafjallajökull during its eruptions in 2010. Hey, I tried. And one of the best to see it is at the Sakurajima volcano in Japan. Number 8. Blonde Zebra In February of 2019, a wildlife photographer was taking images of animals as they drank at a watering hole in the Serengeti National Park in Tanzania when something very unusual came into view. At first, it looked like a zebra that had been rolling in the dirt, but the strange coloration remained after it entered the water. Rather than being dirty, this was an extremely rare blonde zebra. It's something that's been documented in zebras before and is thought to be a result of partial albinism. This means that it has far less melanin than normal and causes the stripes to be much paler in color. Very little is known about how common it is or how it affects their acceptance within social groups. While there have been a few sightings in the wild, blonde zebras have mainly been seen in captivity. There are a number in a private reserve in the Mount Kenya National Park, and a few have been born in zoos. This recent sighting suggests that this zebra was fully integrated into its group, in the same way that other unusually colored zebras are, but there are still questions about how well they can protect themselves when they are on their own. It's not entirely clear the benefit that stripes give to zebras in defense, but it's likely that the paler color removes any of this advantage. Number 7. White Rainbow when people talk about the colors of the rainbow, you think of red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. But this isn't always the case. Surprised? Sometimes the arcs in the sky can be devoid of all color and are known as white rainbows. Have you ever seen one of these? Also known as fog rainbows, they are formed in the same way as normal rainbows. Usually, when light refracts through water droplets in the atmosphere, the different wavelengths are split to show the colors. The water droplets and fog, though, are much smaller, and when they're less than 0.051 millimeters, the rainbow has very weak colors, which end up appearing white. They can also be seen looking down from an aircraft when they are called cloud bows, and they can occur at night to produce what is known as a lunar fog bow. They're quite rare, though, so if you ever see one, it's worth taking a picture if you can. And now for number six, but first, be sure to tag me at any crazy weather or nature phenomenon you have on Instagram at Katrina Explained, and subscribe if you haven't already to join the Origins Explained family. Number six, Pyura chilensis. Next time someone says something's as difficult as drawing blood from a stone, think of the Pyura chilensis. This strange sea creature that's found in the waters around the coast of Chile and Peru has the appearance of a rock but when you look inside, things are not what you'd expect. It's a type of sea squirt, which are marine filter feeders. The outside of their bodies are made from tunicin, which is a material that's made from cellulose and allows them to stick onto hard objects where they'll remain for their entire lives. The animals have two siphons that reach from the protected center through this tough layer to inhale and exhale water, which it filters to remove algae to feed on. 
Their blood is naturally clear, but for some reason it absorbs a rare element called vanadium, and there can be so much that it's 10 million times more concentrated than in the surrounding seawater. No one's sure why the creatures take in so much of it, and they're the only ones in the entire animal kingdom that we know of to do it. It's a valuable metal that has potential uses in the manufacture of batteries. So, unfortunately, Pyura chilensis are currently in high demand for research. They are also a delicacy in Chile, although the effects on the human body of ingesting so much vanadium are currently unknown. Number 5. Ladybugs on Weather Radar In June of 2019, the San Diego Weather Service picked up a strange reading on their radar. It looked like a rain cloud that was 5,000 feet in the air, but it wasn't raining in the area. Volunteer weather spotters went out to see what was happening, and a few of them reported seeing an unusually high number of ladybugs in the area. The difficulty was that it was dark at the time, so no one could see what was happening so high up, but it's now generally believed to have been a massive swarm of the insects. They are known to take flight in large numbers, and on this occasion it could have been due to a brief spurt of warm weather, or an uplift of wind that encouraged them to go airborne. It's the first time a swarm like this has been picked up on weather radar, but it's a phenomenon that's been seen around the world during their yearly migrations. Also, there was the grasshopper invasion in Las Vegas, which was also so large it was spotted on radar. Luckily, these insects don't bite or carry disease, so it's all good. Number 4. Red Tide Algae grows in the oceans across the world, but occasionally their blooms become so large that they discolor the water and can even be potentially dangerous. Even though the water may seem appealing for a swim, this is a phenomenon that you should stay well clear of. It's called a red tide, and they've become far more common since the 1980s, thought to be a result of increasing ocean temperatures, low salinity, and industrial runoff from agricultural processes. The presence of such large quantities of algae in the water has serious consequences for other marine life. First, the water is clouded with a reddish color, and oxygen levels can rapidly fall. Toxins are also formed, which can become hazardous for larger organisms when smaller ones consume it in large enough quantities. There are three diseases that can potentially affect humans, all of which happen if you consume an infected shellfish. Diuretic shellfish poisoning can lead to vomiting, abdominal pains, and cramps, amnesic shellfish poisoning that can cause dizziness and memory loss, and paralytic shellfish poisoning that can cause paralysis and even death. Red tides have become such an increasing problem that research is currently focused on trying to help predict the growth and toxicity, as well as developing antidotes to the effects. Number 3. Blue-Eyed Coyotes Coyotes are a small species of wolf that are found across North America. While there are 19 subspecies, which differ in terms of size and their fur color, there is one thing that's common across all of them. They have golden brown irises in their eyes. Recently, though, images taken around California's Point Reyes National Seashore have shown that this isn't always the case, with some having blue eyes. It's still incredibly rare, and there are only five animals known to have this trait which is thought to have occurred due to a random genetic mutation. Researchers believe that all of the ones that have been seen are descendants of one coyote that had this mutation, which is more likely to have happened by chance as opposed to interbreeding with another species such as a wild dog. The animals seen with this unusual eye color are perfectly healthy and thriving, so it isn't putting them at any disadvantage, so it's likely to be something that will now become even more common over successive generations. Number 2. Rainbow Eucalyptus Possibly the most beautiful and unusual tree on the planet is native to the Philippines, Papua New Guinea, and Indonesia, although it is now grown around the world. It's a species of eucalyptus called the rainbow eucalyptus, whose trees can grow to up to 150 feet tall and produce spindly white flowers from the branches at the top. The most impressive part of the tree, though, is its trunk, which looks like it's been splattered with different colored paint. This effect is caused by the way that it sheds its bark. It does this at different times throughout the year, and at first it appears green, but slowly turns into another color. This process means that no two rainbow eucalyptus trees look the same, and can be made up of a range of colors including green, orange, yellow, rusty red, maroon, brown, purple, and blue. Some almost look fake because they're so vibrant, while others look like pastel paintings because the colors are more subtle. Number 1. Exploding Toads In 2005, residents of Hamburg in Germany began finding something truly horrific. Over a period of five days, more than 1,000 toad corpses were found in a pond, seemingly having bloated and burst. 
It confused all local experts as this had never been seen before, so the hunt was on to find an explanation. Scientists tested the water and couldn't find anything out of the ordinary, nor did tests on the remains of the toads find any signs of a virus or bacteria. Known as the death pool, residents were advised to stay away until answers could be found, but it wasn't long until a convincing theory was put forward. One investigator noticed that the toads didn't have any livers, and that as part of their explosions, entrails were left hanging out of them. It's now thought that this was all a gruesome result of them being attacked by hungry crows. The birds would swoop in and peck the organs out of them, which left a hole in the amphibian's chests. The toads have a natural defense measure whereby they puff themselves up to look bigger, but with the wounds from the bird attacks, their blood vessels and lungs burst and the other organs began to fall out. Disgusting as it may be, it's not that uncommon a sight. A similar thing also happened in Denmark the same year and on a few occasions since. Thanks for watching. Nature is pretty impressive and kind of scary. Hope you learned something new today. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time.